Hey guys, it's Nas here. I came across this Joe Rogan clip where he talks about cigars with uh, Tim Dillon and I wanted to check this out and share my thoughts uh, as a cigar enthusiast and as a fan of Joe Rogan. Uh, definitely would want to see or listen to what he has to say. So uh, let's check this out together. How many cigars are you smoking now? What a show. Mo no more than one. No more than one? More than one, I'll get sick. Is it, it kind of is do you get any nicotine from it? Oh yeah. You do. Yeah, for sure. Everybody does. Interesting. That's why they smoke cigars. They don't just Everyone does and everyone smokes it for the nicotine. I feel like he misspoke uh on this. I don't agree. I mean, are there people who do it for that? Yes, of course, but is that everyone? No. So, uh you know, myself and many others who uh, have been smoking cigars for you know many 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 years, and would you know consider ourselves cigar enthusiasts, aficionados, or what have you. You know, someone, uh, some of us find you know, some of us are into cigars as a hobby, and you know are not doing it for for the nicotine and the nicotine buzz. Again, can you get a nicotine buzz from cigars? Yes. But is that the main reason uh, that people smoke cigars? Uh, again, I wouldn't say everyone. Uh, definitely uh, it, anyone I know, um, or I should say, I don't know anyone that does it for that. But again, they're probably out there. And if you take a look, if you're into if you're into cigars and you know about the various cigar communities, you know, in, in Discord and on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, or X, um, you know that that's not the main reason why you know individuals uh, partake in smoking cigars. Uh, and most people actually do it for the taste. Um, and also think about it this way. There are so many different cigars coming from, you know, so many different countries, so many different blends, so many uh, aging processes, uh, storing processes, um, you know, so many types of uh, cigars. And if it was all for nicotine, would there be so many different variations? Um, I don't think so. And also, if you talk to any cigar smokers who have been smoking for decades, they have their go-to cigars, right? Like they know what they like. If it was only about nicotine, then it wouldn't like it wouldn't matter which cigars they smoke, right? But they, like I said, they have cigars that they like, and they have cigars that they don't like. And so if it was only about nicotine, then that wouldn't matter, but that's clearly not the case. Um, and also, as I mentioned before, the flavor nuances, you know, so many different factors uh, go into that or so many different things, you know, impact the flavor uh, profile. As I mentioned, uh, aging, where it's uh, coming from, the type of soil, uh, was it grown under the sun? Uh, which part of the leaf? Is it the whole leaf? Is it uh, which part of the plant rather? Like if it's uh, higher up uh, where it's getting more sun, if it's uh, closer to the ground. Uh, yeah, where it's stored, is it stored in a barrel? How long it's aged? There's just so many different things that attribute to the flavor uh, profile. And when I talk about flavor, I am talking about uh, premium hand roll cigars. And these, like the, there is no flavor. It's sort of just a nuance or it's just sort of this thing our brain perceives uh, perceives as. Um, and yeah, when I talk about these type of cigars, I'm mainly talking about premium hand roll cigars. Now there are cigars that are infused or flavored and those are a separate category. Um, but yeah, premium cigars, there, there are no technically any flavors in it. There's no other chemicals added to it. There, it's just tobacco that's been aged, uh, you know, fermented, rolled up, and uh, your brain, you know, based on the blends, your brain is sort of getting like different nuances. And that's the, the hobby part, that's the interesting part. Uh, and that differs from person to person, and that perspective is different from person to person. And that's what makes cigar smoking so interesting. So yeah, let's continue. Let's see what else he says. Smoke it for the taste. Right. 
That's stupid. That makes sense. But you don't inhale. No, but you do. The, the tobacco is... You know. Oh, by the way, that cigar is a good cigar. Uh, that's the Buena Ventura. I believe uh, BV600, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a good cigar. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Um, it, from what I remember, it had sort of a coffee, chocolate nuance to it with a little bit of uh, black pepper, but nothing overwhelming. Uh, good cigar, easy to find, and I believe it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like under ten dollars. So yeah, if uh, you haven't tried that, I would say that's a good one to try. You know, it's pure tobacco, and you're getting that in your mouth, and you're getting the nicotine in your mouth. So you get a buzz. You have hundred yeah. percent. Okay, hundred yeah, percent. We were even considering. Yeah. Ari and I were smoking cigars once in the beginning of sober October. We're like, are we cheating? I kind of feel like we're cheating. I feel like I'm getting kind of high. Yeah, so, you know, again, the whole nicotine buzz, you're not always going to get it, and not every cigar is going to do that. It it sort of depends on so many different things. So, one, if it's a strong blend um, that, you know, retains a lot of its... uh, uh, nicotine due to like maybe the aging or what's been taken out or like which part of the leaf and what's been taken out. So I know uh, cigar rollers, you know, they take out a lot of the stem, which I think I believe that contains the nicotine. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. But that's what uh, what I've read. Um, but also, you know, it other things that can impact if you get that buzz, like one, you know, if you're a new, new smoker, most likely new cigar smoker, I should say, most likely you're inhaling a little bit or you're smoking too fast, which is making it burn hotter. And, uh, you know, you're taking in more, uh, you may be, you know, uh, on an empty stomach and you're smoking a cigar that can get you, that can get, you know, get you a buzz. But, uh, you know, what he said, the nicotine is going into your mouth, your gums, your lips, uh, your tongue, uh, and if you're retrohaling, then your sinuses, which is true. You know, your your um, those surfaces will absorb some of the nicotine, but it's a very slow, very slow. Uh, I I would say like a uptake uh, process. It's not it's not the same as like if you're vaping or smoking a cigarette or any other any other drug or any other thing that goes directly into your system through your lungs or blood or anything like that. Um, but yeah, if it has to go through the skin, it's going to take a while and it's not going to be like a buzz that that's going to alter your, because again, it's going to be like by the time it gets to your system, it's going to be pretty much broken down. So it's not going to be the same. Um, again, if I, if I am misspeaking on this, please let me know if you, you know, have the, the data to you know, back it up. But this is from uh, what I've read in my experience. So, but, but yeah, um, I, I feel like that's a little bit off. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's continue. You get high from cigars, 100%. Yeah. Interesting. It's just a different kind of high. It's a, it's a nice conversational high. It's right. relaxed. It's similar to cigarettes where you don't get, you're not. Yeah, I wouldn't even consider that a high. I mean, uh, again, I'm sure there are outliers. There are outliers for everything. You know, uh, some people may be impacted by certain thing more than others. And and that's the case for anything, right? Like anything in life, anything you consume, any food, any drug, anything. Like it impacts everyone at slightly slightly different scale, right? Uh, it's all about the average, right? Like whenever they do drug trials, it's not 100% or, you know, uh, 1%. It's usually somewhere in between those two numbers, right? So, you know, I'm sure there are people who get high from it, but it, it's not, I've never gotten high from a cigar and I don't know anyone who have. Uh, comment below if you have and you know what that experience was like I did get a nicotine buzz which kind of makes you feel uh, nauseous or lightheaded but 
again, it's not, it doesn't make you, like, it didn't get me high. Like, to me, a high is something that uh, alters uh, your state of being or state of mind, right? Or, like, it adds or takes away something from your personality. For example, like, alcohol, right? If you get drunk, you, your, your ability to, I guess, um, you know, thinking rationally and holding back, uh, you know, your critical thinking process and holding back certain things and your inhibitions are altered. So, you know, I would consider that a high or any other drug that you do, that would be a high. Whereas a cigar doesn't, like if you behave one way, uh, when you don't smoke a cigar, you're going to behave the same way, uh, as far as I know, when you smoke a cigar. So it it doesn't, it's not a social lubricant uh, like alcohol, but it is a, it can be a social thing. And I know people do, you know, smoke cigar socially or, uh, and some people smoke it by themselves, you know, to sort of meditate and think about things. So, yeah, I, I don't know if high is the right word, but again, everyone's different. So every, my, everyone's perception of it might be different. So, you know, I just haven't ever experienced that. Fucked up, mm-hmm. but cigarettes do provide like a, a relief or a release, whatever yeah. that is, whatever that, that nicotine ooh. is. Why is nicotine so addictive? It's not that addictive. I mean, um, I like it, but I can, like, uh, like if I uh, was smoking a vape pen a lot, I was doing it. I read studies on this, um, but it's not nicotine that's addictive. It's the other. So like in like the reason cigarettes is because cigarettes have like hundreds of different chemicals and they are all acting together to get you hooked on it and to to develop a dependency on it. Um, but nicotine by itself uh, can it be addictive. Yeah, of course. But it, it's not like that's not the main thing. Uh, it, it's kind of like. Can anyone be addicted to anything? Yeah, I, I feel like anyone who has an has an addictive personality, like, can easily become obsessed with something, can be addicted to it. Like, there are people who are addicted to food, people who are addicted to certain activities. Um, you know, so like, if someone like that were to pick up cigars, yeah, I think they would be addicted to it. But whereas, uh, whereas a cigarette. You know, it's, I feel like more common that people become addicted to it, even if they don't have an addictive personality, is because there is a chemical component to it. Whereas, you know, cigars, uh, it's just nicotine. But again, you're not even getting most of the nicotine because you're not inhaling, or at least you shouldn't be inhaling it because it's not how it was meant to be, you know, enjoyed. Um, And that wasn't the point of a cigar either. I mean, cigar was supposed to be about, you know, slowing down taking your time and just kind of appreciating things and you know it wasn't this like quick rush and you know there are other things you can do to get that so every day and then i just took it off and just didn't do it for a week and i just stopped craving it totally but maybe that's just me you're you have a constitution it's it's easier for you you're very disciplined other people struggle with that there's other people that cannot do that cigarettes are tough i've given up ever i've given up cocaine alcohol pills marijuana i've not done a drug in 12 years but cigarettes are tough and i haven't smoked now for two months but the one day in the near future and i don't know when someone's gonna give you a cigarette they're not even gonna give it to me you just reach for it i'm gonna request it and you're gonna spark it out. and i'm gonna have a cigarette and then i'm just gonna be sitting somewhere having a cigarette and not go, knowing how <sighs> yeah not knowing how it happened. Wouldn't it be awesome if they were good for you? <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the end of the clip. Um, yeah, I think saying that, uh, you know, asking if cigars, I know he kind of did it in a joking way. If cigars were good for you, wouldn't that be amazing? Um that's sort of a a strange question. I feel like it's not good or bad. Uh, I think it's all dependent on the person. I mean, there are so many examples of people who 
you know, smoke like 15 cigars a day and have done it for decades with no health issues and, you know, have lived, you know, well past their 80s and 90s. Uh, the famous person, uh, can't remember the name. He was a uh, World War II veteran, smoked like 12, 10 to 12 cigars a day, lived until like 112 there's uh, George Bush, I mean, George Bush, George, uh, George Burns. Uh, he smoked like, I think he said like 12 to 15 a day. And he lived until 93. Again, I'm sure there are outliers. And there are also people who probably, you know, smoked one or, you know, not smoked one, but smoked very little and got mouth cancer, right? So, yeah, there are extreme outliers on both ends, but I think the important thing is, you know, what is your overall health? Uh, and I'm not talking about like uh, genetic outliers and genetic uh, dispositions to things. Like if, you know, one thing is going to affect you more than another person, you know, that's not necessarily on that thing, but it's, you know, it's just a genetic anomaly or whatever. But I think the key takeaway is, uh, you, how, like, what is your life uh, lifestyle consist of, right? Like, are you eating a lot of junk food? Are you, um, you know, are you trying to do the healthier thing? Like, are you working out? Are you, you know, sleep, getting your sleep? Are you, uh, you know, uh, taking care of what whatever you need to take care of, like your deficiencies and things like that? Are you, you know... Are you maintaining a good health and good physique and things like that and a good uh, good mental health as well? Like, are you taking care of your mind? Uh, I think those are the important factor. And then if you have those, you know, right, then your vices or things you indulge, uh, indulge in, then I, I don't think they will have they will have a great or a negative impact. And matter of fact, they may just make your life a little bit better because it's that satisfaction, right? Like if you're a healthy person who, you know, is very disciplined and, you know, you, you have a good schedule for like working out and uh, you're, you're quick to get back on, back on track if you ever fall off. But like, yeah, if you're someone like that and you enjoy like junk food or whatever, like once in a while, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to harm you. But if you're not that person and you're, you know, you're already unhealthy, you have a lot of medical issues and, you know, uh, but you enjoy, you indulge in junk food, then that's going to be more detrimental than the person who's already fit, and you know, and well. Uh, so I think it's the same thing with cigars, right? Like cigars, I feel like, can be a positive, like it, it, you know, as they said, it's a, it's a, a way to relieve stress. It's it's a tool for meditation for a lot of people, like uh, myself. It's something I use, you know, like when I uh, enjoy a cigar, I think about the cigar, like the the nuances I'm picking up, uh, you know, and compare it to the other cigars I've had, and you know, the the similarities and different differences, you know, what I like and what I don't like. Uh, like all of, the, all of those things, but it also just kind of makes me think about different things if I'm smoking alone. And then if I am smoking with friends, then yeah, you know, you get into good conversations and, uh, you know, but it, it's not like alcohol. So I wouldn't even compare it to that. It's just, you know, it, it's just something to do while, while you have good conversations. Um, but yeah, I think that's the main thing. Like it can be good if, you know, if you apply it the right way, but if you are abusing it, so for example, you're smoking, you know, cigars and you're like inhaling the, you know, if you're able to, you inhale the whole thing and you're, uh, you know, you're not in the best shape and you're not living a good, you know, a healthy lifestyle, then yeah, it can be, it can impact, impact you in, in a negative way. But then there's also the factor of genetics, as I said, like there are so many people through people throughout history that have been smoking like cigarettes, you know, like a pack or even more a day. And they they lived, you know, healthy and they lived well past their uh, 80s and 90s. So, you know, there's always the outlier. There's always those things. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's up to the individual to make that decision 
to you know do their research to think about things and uh, decide whatever is best for them. Uh, I think you know that's that's the whole point of being human and that's the whole point of being alive is that everything has a good side and a bad side is just you know balancing it and kind of figuring out what you like. And uh, yeah, if you're not into cigars, then that's okay. If you're into cigars, then that's okay too. But, you know, as long as you're uh, responsible and, you know, anything that comes from it, then, you know, you take responsibility. I think that's the, that's the, the important thing. So I know it's kind of long-winded, but, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Do you agree with Joe? You know, is everyone smoking cigars just to get a buzz or get high? Or are you in the camp? you know, that says that, no, they are actually smoking it for the nuances and the flavor and the experience. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, uh, like and share, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I'm going to be doing more content like this. If you enjoy it, uh, yeah, let me know and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.